prime angling today. Just going to stock up on a few bits for our little session. There's all sorts of different soft plastics, little metals you can buy. Here's the gulp section. So yeah, if you've not been down to prime angling, come down and have a look. It's definitely the best shop around for some of the LRF stuff. I quite like this nice little box and uh, these nice little paddle tails. So today we're going to be using some ice on worm. We're also going to be using some real bait. These look incredible. Eco gears. So these are the sort of weights I'll be using. I'll show you the setup in a minute. But I think I'm only using about a seven gram, seven gram weight today. Some of these are tiny. Look, two grams, three grams. And then here are the tiny little miniature metals. 1.5 gram metal. That's crazy. And then if you want to just get yourself a little box that has everything in it, you can just grab one of these. Something a bit different, but we've got some actual basslers, top waters, shallow divers, you name it, fully stocked. One of my favourites there. So something a little bit different today. We're actually doing a little bit of LRF fishing. So I recently got into my LR, LRF, LRF fishing. It's pretty fun to be honest. I quite like catching little species and it's not just about the little species. It's like, you don't really know what you're gonna get. Using such small baits, you could either get, you could get a nice big bass. It, it doesn't matter. Because it's a small bait, like anything could take it. So you could get brass, gobies, blennies, pouting, coalfish, bass, smelt. There's all sorts of stuff. So it's good to drop your baits down on a little rod. Today I'm using like a little 0.2 to 6 gram H2O Aikido. And yeah, lovely little rod. I'll give you more of like an introduction to it, my gear and stuff that I'm using. But yeah, today we're at a famous little spot, New Avon. So yeah, see what we catch. So if you want to find this venue, if you just type in Hope in New Haven, this will take you straight there. This is right at the entrance of the New Haven Harbour. As you can see, here is the pub and here is where we are fishing, right here. This is the setup, very basic. I've just gone for a little quick swivel and a quick swivel. Pretty gnarly that to be fair. Could have been done much better. But anyway, I've got these little sabikis. I think these are size 16s. Let's see if I can show you. Size 16s, a little bit of ragworm. I've got three of them. So I basically chopped up some sabikis. There you go. Just tiny little bits down to a seven gram. Wait. This, see this weight? You literally just slide it on the line, pull it up, and it's locked in. So you can change change where you want it on the line. And yeah, that's just on my little rod. H2O, Kido, said, shown this before, 0.2 to six gram. So yeah, I'll leave a link in the description for that. And then all I've got on it is a Daiwa Ninja 2000 with eight pound H2O braid. So lovely and light, hopefully catch some fish. There you go. Sam with a nice little blenny, I believe. He's got a little bit of foliage on him from dropping on the floor. Yeah, nice Sam. So what we were doing was just dropping our baits right down the edge of this structure. Wait until it hits the bottom and then just slowly jigging it up and down. Now, you do have to be careful because it is quite snaggy and uh, you're only using like light line and little hooks. But this was, this was getting us a fair few fish and... We're no, we're no professionals at this type of fishing. We're just going for a little bit of fun, just to show you, to show you our day, really. So nice little catch. Sam's been smashing it. Rass, gobies, blennies. I haven't been catching anything, but I just had this little fish. I believe that is a scorpion fish. Rass again, yeah. There we go. Nice little blenny. Come and. Sam's got a nice wrasse. It's not a ballon, is it? No, I don't know what that is. It's 
detail. If you know, leave a comment in the video. Yeah, if you know, <laughs> leave a comment. <laughs> and then him. Hey, what is that? Lovely little fish. Have a blenny. So as you can tell, we are professionals in identifying small species. <laughs> and uh, we decided it was time for lunch. After the ferry um, decided to churn up all the water, it wasn't really worth fishing. So we had a little bit of lunch and then off to our next venue. This is going BBC News live. <laughs> So if you're local and you spotted where we're fishing, we did ask for permission. We were buying drinks, so just keep that in mind if you do go there to fish. That's a bass. There's a couple of bass. <gasps> oh, there's some big ones, Sam. Wait, there's a couple of them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I was down slightly bit earlier. A couple of them there, weren't there? Sam, show me that. There we go, that's a chunk. What? That is a nice cork wing. Oh my god. What a beautiful fish. On a tiny little setup as well. That's a beautiful fish. Well done, Sam. This is the rod that it was on. What's this rod called, Sam? It's a HTO Hyper Sniper. Oh, Hyper Sniper, there we go. 0.5 to 7. Nice. Look at that. Ooh. Lovely fish. Okay, and that. A, what's this reel? That's a little heart. 
Heart, it's, eight pound braid. There's a gold Z 1000, eight pound HGO braid with four pound euro. Nice. Let him go. Last Absolute miniature. Tiny. So again, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a comment. I know this is a little bit different from normal. It's not really a video where I'm teaching you how to fish or teaching you how to lure fish because I'm very new to LRF fishing myself. But it was more of a just sort of day to day of, of how a session would go and a couple of different marks. So I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.